Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running, the trail and ultra running YouTube channel. Last September, I was at the finale of the Golden Trails World Series at the Skyline Scotland, and I asked some of the top international athletes like Max King and Judith Vida to share a few of their favorite training tips. What are your best trail running tips? Personally, apart from the usual, just enjoy it, I recommend getting a really well-fitting pair of grippy trail running shoes for more confidence on muddy, boggy hills. Comment below to join the discussion. Remember to like the film and take a look at my Patreon page for monthly competitions and perks from Wild Ginger Running and enjoy the advice from these talented trail runners. This film is powered by Ellis Brigham. Their new trail running range is now available in 24 stores nationwide or shop online at ellis-brigham.com. Why should they start trail running? All that, <laughs> all the hills, brings you to places like this that you probably wouldn't get to. You can get up to Fort William on the train. There's a lot more uh, repetitive motion on the roads and, you know, at least with trail running, you're getting out and you're getting to places that you might not um, otherwise explore. I mean, what's better than being on the mountains? And trail running is much more than just racing and running in the mountains. It's also about power hiking. Actually, we do also power hike a lot on the trails or on the races. So we don't, you don't have to think about running all the time. The good thing about trail running, you don't need to be fast. You can just run in your own pace and it's okay to walk. You don't need to run and you can be like super fit by walking uphill. Running is so accessible so you can just you could just start tomorrow with a cheap pair of trainers or you can take it as far as you like and do races like Glencoe Skyline or the Paddy Buckley or whatever so there's a huge range of stuff and just just enjoy it really. You experience you know always different scenery and you can run in lots of different places lots of different types of profile of your run there's less less importance put on uh, PBs and pacing and timing. You can go run in places where Strava doesn't even have a segment for you. Start like slowly. I don't mean like literally running slowly, but just don't try and jump into things too much because you can sort of get demotivated by that. Um, maybe buy a map. Um, so like buy a, um, an OS map of your local area. Um, and it's amazing like in the cities, how many public footpaths there are. So if it all goes wrong, you can just walk home. <laughs> probably wouldn't recommend if someone's never been out on the hills or can't navigate or even just basic skills I wouldn't recommend that they go out themselves so maybe find someone who can just show you a few routes that's how I got into it so my map reading skills are appalling <laughs> still but uh, I get better figure out like how you're gonna get back safely um, you know, one of the things, like I do a series of running camps and one of the things is, is building confidence in people. And one of the big things is like, they don't feel like they can get out there because they're afraid they're going to get lost or something's going to happen to them. So carry the necessary items with you. And we talk about the 10 essentials in the U.S. all the time. Um, we talk about, well, map and compass, like just being able to read a map is huge and taking that with you and knowing that, you know, where if you do kind of get turned around, you can figure out where you are based on your map. You just have to take a bit of time to think about your own safety of where you're going, how you get back and whether you take the right things with you and, and just build up gradually. You don't have to just go run off into the middle of the moors on your own on a claggy rainy day, you know, just be a bit sensible, build up. But you, you know, there's nothing fancy about it. Get yourself a different pair of shoes and go for a run, like, you know, and you'll find out for yourself. I don't think running is fun until it's kind of easy. So you need to like work a while uh, to like uh, to get in shape. Actually, in the beginning it will be hard and yet after a year you'd be surprised uh, you'd be quite far. But really take it very slowly. Don't expect to run 5Ks uh, straight in the beginning if you haven't run in. You don't even need a pair of trail shoes to, to start off and just go out there and enjoy yourself. You, you're gonna love it. Even if it is cold and a bit rainy, just being outside, just I think it just definitely changes, changes your mood. There's more and more evidence now that nature really um, is a, it's a healer. Like in just being 20 minutes out in nature, even if you're walking, is going to make you happier over time. So I think that's a good way to start. And even if you just start with walking, so like get out for a 30 minute walk and try some runs, you know, 20, 30 seconds or one minute in between when you feel like it. I would say join a club. 
um, get somebody if you if you're not that self motivated get somebody who, who goes out regular or a club and you know go along till that and try it uh, that's the best way and it's going to get you out the door so if there are any trail running groups around in the area then it always helps to have a sense of community and have someone that you're meeting and have some fun and chats and get to know people and make friends and double bonus because you'll be in nature while you're doing it so <laughs> you should have come out a happier person for it start with some friends and don't always train hard. I think most people think that all the training should be hard. For me, around maybe 90% of my training is easy. Like long, easy runs and just enjoy spending time outside. The great thing about running is you can improve quite a lot at the start without doing a, a great deal. And the, you know, all the worrying about nutrition and strength training and intervals and all that. Don't worry about that for a while. Just get out and have some fun. Just go for a run. And on days when you feel all right, try a little bit harder. Or, I mean, with Strava these days, then, you, yeah, you can go for a segment in your category that you put yourself in um, and, and enjoy it, really. The things I would invest in, I mean, probably don't invest in a pack straight away because, you know, if you're just going out locally and you've got a limited budget, say, I think invest in a pair of shoes because if your feet if you're not wearing decent shoes, you're going to fall over and you're not going to enjoy it. And also shoes that don't fit. I heard like in, in Sweden they had like something plugging. It's like picking up trash and jogging. Uh, so if everyone just can, like if they have a bag like this, they have a small pocket so you can just pick up a little bit now and then. If everyone just pick up like two, three pieces of trash, then the nature will be so much nicer. Don't forget you're doing this for yourself and it needs time and don't compare yourself to other people. It's very important that the motivation comes from me and I think for all happy runners, it's probably always uh, the same thing. Don't put yourself any pressure besides that it, when it comes from you.